Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Dynamite Heady. This is Pale Voyager, and when we last left off, we were going to venture into danger. So let's do that, shall we? <laughs> Toys in the Hood. Yeah, this game has really creative names for its levels. And by creative, I mean completely unoriginal and taken from movies. There's our old buddy Hangman again. <laughs> Sucker. Have you were wondering what the whole deal was in the last video concerning Hangman? Uh, the whole point of that was to familiarize ourselves with eternally clasping to his nether regions to get around. We're going to be seeing a lot of him. Did I mention I don't like Hangman? I don't like him. That's okay. This is a world of tolerance. Now what do we have here? Giant metal ball. Lookout sentry. Mmm. You know what? I'm not going to hit it. Nope, not gonna do it. I'm not gonna fall for your tricks. Your night tricks. And that's why, I got a secret bonus point. Apparently you get rewarded for bashing metal structures to death with your face. Which kinda works out, because that's how I solve all of my problems. Now we're gonna play the bonus level, everybody. Dressed up as the Statue of Liberty. And what better game to play as a Statue of Liberty than... Basketball! Yeah. Dynamite Heady's a gangster. Now the object of this game is to sink five baskets into the, uh, the stars. While avoiding the, uh, the skulls. They kind of look like double zeros. And, uh, there are baskets in the background which, uh, either give you more balls or slow down the conveyor belt, which is good. Or bad, it really depends on how you look at it. Now, if you manage to sink a ball into the skull, you lose one of your conveyor belts, which is bad. Very bad. I don't like it. Just need one more, come on. Oh, and I got hit by a bomb at the last second. So, if you win one of these, you get a number that you have to remember. Everyone remember the number seven. There's a point to that, I swear. If I can win this four times in a row, I get a code that I can use at the end of the game. Now I'm making no promises, but I'm gonna try and get that for you guys. As if there weren't enough jokes already concerning head, I now have a head that sucks. That's right. I'll leave the jokes up to you, I'm not touching that one. It's surprisingly hard to play this with a keyboard. <laughs> I almost felt bad about that. Alright, this is the super head. It lets you run faster, jump higher, and it extends the length of your head. Which is good. Ah, oh, masterfully done. Does I smell a mid-boss? I think I does. Hey there, mid-boss. I'm not afraid of you. Ah, oh, mid-boss wants to give me a hug. I'm not down with that. Personal space! Get away. That was awful. Luckily, Mr. Mid-boss is a pushover. And I got two secret bonus points for assaulting those animals. Rock on! Now, Hetty can restore his life by taking a nap. Ah, yeah. And I'll use my spike head now to traverse this corridor. Just in time to meet... Mid-boss number two! Because I thought we were due. We will use the triple head to take care of the rest of this guy's armor, I guess you can call it. That was a bad time to stop time. You can stop time. Did you know that? Because Hetty doesn't follow his own rules. And that's another secret bonus point for being a dragon slayer. Man, Hetty's a jack of all trades.
Oh, it's Mr. Pooks again. Oh, this is gonna be a brutal fight. I can hardly wait. Oh, Mr. Pooks! Oh, God! Well, he had it coming. Thanks, Bo. This boss's weakness is his tail. I just got another secret bonus point for beating up that little freaky thing. The excitement never ends. You stupid mutt, I just played basketball. He's really beating me up with that thing. Oh god, monkeys! And that's how Daddums takes care of business. Now, if you can collect enough of these hopping things, you get an extra continue, but I never can do this. I believe that's the end of level one. All secret bonus points gotten. I'm very proud of myself, everybody. Round of applause. I wonder what the deal with this mysterious key could be. That wasn't really a yes or no question, Hetty, but I appreciate the, the effort. Oh, and just when you thought it wouldn't get worse, there's a female version of him. Aw, oh, love is in the air. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this has been Let's Play Dynamite Hetty. I'm Pale Voyager. Have a good one.